All right, Lydia, are you ready to build a house? I know I am. So, um, we got our drafting table. Actually, you know what? Let's start with this book. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. If you're like most people, you've always dreamed of owning your own steading and building your own home. But where to start? Never fear, for you hold in your hands the guide to everything you need to know. Before long, you'll be gazing complacently across your well-tended lands from the porch of your own manor house. Getting started. There are two vital pieces of equipment that the prospective homeowner needs, the drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Your drafting table is where you'll lay out the plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry about making a mistake here, you can always change your mind, and making a new plan costs you nothing. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Your carpenter's workbench is where you'll do the actual construction. Once you've settled on a plan at the drafting table, you can start by building your house at the carpenter's workbench. Avoid the common beginner's mistake, don't try to build the roof without first building the proper supports first. Space for the family. If you have a spouse or children, you'll certainly want to get the house in a livable state as soon as possible. Your loving spouse will no doubt make do with nothing more than a roof over her head and a bed to sleep in, but what about the children? Don't worry, all they need is a bed and a chest or dresser to store their treasures, and they will be perfectly content. Building Materials You will need a lot of supplies to complete your house, but it isn't necessary to gather everything you need ahead of time. Unless you're in a hurry, you can just build in stages as materials become available. You'll enjoy watching your home progress from dream to reality. The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, cut stone, and clay. Luckily, these are plentiful in Skyrim. In fact, most building sites will have more than one easily accessible source of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill owner will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. Also, you'll need a lot of nails. Fortunately though, even a novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease. Now, when you turn to furnishing your completed house, you'll need a much wider variety of materials. Some of them, such as straw and glass, are commonly obtained from general goods stores. For the rest, the whole of Skyrim will be your general store. Hiring a steward. Once your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help you manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable. From hiring a carriage driver, to buying a cow, to keeping you supplied with building materials, freeing you to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Before hiring a steward though, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements. Remember, you are putting your entire estate in their hands. You need someone you can trust implicitly. Now on to actually building your house. The rest of this guide will review plans for each room that you might want to build. We'll start with a small house. Before you get too ambitious, gain confidence by building a tiny cottage. It is the perfect starter home and might turn out to be all you need. But don't worry, if you decide to keep building, you can remodel this into an entryway to the rest of your house. Which leads us to the main hall. You may decide that the small house is not enough. Perhaps you need room for a growing family? The next step is to add a main hall, which will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including space for two small bedrooms, and a back room, and a large dining area. And after that, there are additions. Once you've built the main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You now have room to add three more additional wings, if you decide you still need more space. For each wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving a total of nine possible additions. But remember, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. Okay, let's actually get this enchanting on the fly here before I head out to get rid of some of this crap that's been weighing me down. Like always, you know, I'm using, I'm constantly using these petty gems to just enchant stuff. Um, so... Braces are next, and Fortify Sneak is what gets me the best uh, price. Gotta love, uh, gotta love that you know system of like, yeah, it only improves Sneak by like one percent, but that makes it like, I don't know, like forty times more expensive. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, actually, you know what? I don't think that I've, uh, I think I've got perks to distribute. Health. We'll increase the health. 
almost up to the point where I'm going to start increasing stamina. Um, here we go, enchanting. Yeah, I haven't put any perks in enchanting, which I really should. I'm already in, I'm already in 60, uh, level 63 with enchanting, so that was a bit of a mistake not to go and uh, put the perks in before uh, starting this whole process here. Anyways, uh, we'll just finish up with the uh, bracers and whatnot, petty gems and whatnot. <clears throat> And at some point, I'm gonna need to actually capture a grand gem and enchant the stuff that I've got. For that matter, I'm still on the lookout for a set of gloves to put on, man. Gloves are fi Gloves are proving harder to come across than I ever expected. Um, and, uh, you know, keeping in mind, for those of you who don't remember, um, one of the rules is that I cannot wear armor. Um, gloves do not give armor, so they, uh, they're, they're fair game, you know? Um, yeah, let's just stop there. I don't have anything. Much to my surprise, I've actually run out of stuff to enchant, and I still have one gem left. Okay, so the last thing that I have to do here is to get rid of a couple of things that I don't need in my inventory anymore that I want to put on display. So, um, first off is the wonderful little dagger here, Nettlebane. I don't like selling off Nettlebane. I'm going to go ahead and keep it, and I'm going to pop it into the... Display chest over here. Might replace it with something else at a later date. And the second thing that I want to mess with is miscellaneous here. The Sapphire Dragon Claw. Here we go. I like to keep my hands on these Dragon Claws and uh, put them on display. Could sell it, but you know, I, I really like the Dragon Claws. So, there we go. And I don't think that I'm forgetting anything else. I've offloaded all of my books, you know, all of the ingredients. There's only one last thing for me to do. So, uh, let's go and get some gardening done, hey? One of the great things about uh, the Mannerstead is that you don't have to build a greenhouse. So first off, we'll plant some Canis Root here. Um, and I'm gonna leave those plots open because I need more Canis Root. We'll also plant some Imp Stool. These four slots. And I'll, I'll, I'll be doing far more uh, involved alchemy later on down the line. Uh, for now, this is all that I'm going to get up to with the Imp Stool. There we go. And, uh... Let's see. One, two, three... And then one, two, three, four. So, yeah, I've, I've two at four and one at three. So, we'll go ahead and do um, some more Tapinella right here. And we'll do that in these other four slots as well. Wonderful. A little bit annoying by the fact that I have to... Um, it's worth... Anyway, uh... All done. We're all done with our gardening. Let's, um... Man, it's looking good. Oh, I'm pleased with what I managed to erect in a single day. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's get on the roll here. Now, I need to look, uh, I need to try to hunt down that dragon. Uh, that the, uh, the steward gave me, uh, news about. I forgot that I killed these guys. Oh my god, I'll be able to, uh, I'll be able to put mounted mud crabs into the, uh, into the manor now into my Lakeview Manor, so. I'm pretty certain that the way to get up to the top of uh, the mountain to take out the dragon is this way. I might be wrong. I mean, I could always be wrong. It's the distinct possibility that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, um, <laughs> but God willing, I'm actually remembering the landscape of Skyrim correct, because <laughs> it's a big place. It's a really big place, my word. In fact, the only game that I've ever played that I think is eight times the size of Skyrim is um, um, uh, the, the latest Zelda Breath of the Wild. Jeez, there are a lot of bees here. I've never seen so many bees floating in the air in my life. I actually don't know what on earth I will use these for um, if I don't just sell them. My word, I just turn around and there's more of them. So many freaking bees! <laughs> oh, oh, got a little bit bit there. Oof! It's not a little bit like being stung. Yeah, this is obviously a hunter's camp. <laughs> and uh, a beehive. Jeez, this is really, really cool. Really convenient as well. And I've even got a dagger that I can enchant. I'll be able to hop back to uh, Lakeview Manor uh, whenever I'm done with the uh, the dragon. 
uh, before I head back to, you know, Falkreath, which is probably what I'm going to do. I'll, I'll beat the dragon, head back to Lakeview Manor, do a little bit more enchanting, and then I'll head down to Falkreath and, um, you know, turn the quest in and stuff. So, what have we got? Eh, nothing impressive, but, you know, reasonable amount of stuff. You know what actually uh, bothers me about Skyrim? Uh, from, from a canoical standpoint, um, it's the fact that glass, like glass armor, glass swords, etc., it's no longer qualified as, like, it's qualified as something that you have to smith by combining two different things. I think it was moonstone and quicksilver, if I'm remembering right. Or no, oh, wait, 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 it was malachite and moonstone, I think. Was it malachite... I don't remember what it was. I'll be honest, I don't remember what it was at all, what it is to make um, glass here in Skyrim, mainly because I don't really use the smithing uh, ability very much. But um, it, it just bugs the crap out of me because it used to be that you had to find raw, it was possible to find raw um, nodes of glass, like raw glass that you could mine up out of the earth. And now it's like, no, you have to combine different materials. Note to the authorities. I have heard talk about the dragons, but didn't believe it until now. One flew by last week, and ever since we have seen him fly back and forth from a nearby mountain peak. My wife thinks we should move away, go somewhere else. I told her that would be nonsense. As long as we don't bother it, it won't bother us. Still, I thought it would be best if we report to the local authorities. The creature's lair is just south of the hill behind our shack, near Bear's Cave Mill. Oh. Uh. So much for uh, ignoring the ignoring the threat. Clearly didn't work. Shame. Anyways, um, now that uh, I, I should know where to get into the cave from here, because obviously, um, as from the note, there's something about a cave being the entrance to get up to his lair. This looks more like a. Am I gonna walk into a barrow instead of a cave? This looks a little hey, bit more. Look, a cave. Wonder what's inside. Uh, well, we're about to find out, Lydia. Bone chill passage. Well, this isn't Bear's Mill. Oh, it's a frozen cave. Well, okay then. Ooh. Soul trap. Ooh, oh, just in time. Almost didn't capture him. All right, bingo. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, wait a minute. Hello. Ah, I missed. Soul trap it. I think I got it. Kill the ice wave. Frozen little. Oh, well, okay. I didn't soul trap him. I wonder if you can actually soul trap an ice wraith or not. Makes me wonder. This is obviously some sort of a creature den because I found a wolf. What else do we have going on? Oh, the Argonian account. <laughs> that is a very good story. Ah, in 2920, last year of the first era. Nice. Well, something is clearly waiting ahead to try to kill me. Uh, I seriously doubt that it was just a wolf in here. So. Let's, uh, let's get our spells ready and stuff. Whatever it is I want to soul... Ah, it's a frost troll. Okay, cool. Alright, Frosty. You're not a snowman, but I will... capture you. Alright, fur butt. Doing a good job, Lydia. Just tank him. <laughs> oh god, I love it whenever they go flying. Oh, my summon is awesome. I love it. I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed when I have to upgrade to, I think, the Frost Atronach is next. So, yeah. Man, this guy's been eating. Uh, this this troll ate a lot of freaking people. For that matter, what is this a rib cage of? It's like it's decorating with the. Ugh, it's creepy. And I also managed to get a goat uh, hide. I'll be able to, you know, mount a goat on my wall next. Which is great. Man, there's so many dead people in here. Cripe. You'd think that I was in a crypt. 
Well, this was a faster jaunt up to the summit than I expected. I can never pass up snowberries. Love snowberries. I like to imagine that they're nice and sweet. And, and real tasty. In reality, they're probably like really, really... Ugh, ugh, like nothing impressive because they're berries that grow in the snow. Well, that would be a dragon. Alright, douchebag. Come here. Well, I'm not getting them up there. Well, at least he's going for Lydia instead of me. If I don't suffer a scratch, so much the better. Ah, uh, here we go! Okay, douchebag. Rip a hole in your wing while I'm here. I'm going to eat you. To consume your flesh and your soul. This such is the fate of any dragon who fights the Dover King. I feel like the that's the way I'm talking right now. You, oh, you dick. That flame is following me. Come on, land! Alright, I better go for cover. Nothing? Alright. Just... You just keep doing your diddle. He has to crash at some point here. He's so damaged. Oh, oh, there we go. Oof, almost got me in the face. Come here, dragon boy. Alright, guys, we've almost got him. Just a little bit more. How, do I, how the hell do I accidentally hit... Is he sliding away on the ground? There we go. Down he goes. It's another dragon dead. Man, he really did leave a trail when he hit... Not often that I see one of those. All right, come on, hurry up. I don't have all day. I mean, I woke up and I had a dragon for breakfast, and now I'm having a dragon for dinner. Criminy. Well, actually, has it been one day? I don't remember. Anyways, eh, some good and some bad loot. And now we'll go ahead and grab the word here, which. Oh, Animal Allegiance. That might be the second word in Animal Allegiance. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. My, my mistake. I, I'm confusing that with Kind's Peace. So. All right, it looks like that's everything here. Um, I'm all done with Ancient's Ascent. I killed the dragon. I got the loot. Now it's just a matter of going back to Falkreath. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Man, it's foggy today. Please don't say anything. Please don't say anything. Please don't I heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Yes, thank you, guard. I always try to wait for them to finish talking because I hate, I hate it when the guards follow me into a house. Anyways. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Yes, what is it that you want? My Arl, there was a bounty on the dragon and Ancient's Ascent. It is dead. I have slain it, as per my title, and am here to collect the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you. I shall return when there is more to discuss. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Whatever you say, Sidgear. I'm, I'm trying to remember his name correctly, Sidgear. I, I just saw it. I'm certain I will forget how it was si how it is said later in time. Um, so with that done, let's take a look at um the graveyard that I'm constantly hearing about here Don't in Falkreath. Don't let my brother get to you, Tinkler. You're doing a fine job around here. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Almost sounds as if there's supposed to be a quest there, but I don't think there is. Ooh, thistle. So yeah, um, there's uh, there's Everything night. All right. Yeah, everything's fine, guard dude. Um, there should be a reasonable supply of nightshade in uh, the Falkreath Cemetery here, because nightshade grows out of cemeteries. It grows around the dead, so 
used to be the best ingredient to make potions, but that was back in Oblivion. These days, there's something called Death Bell. Hello. The god Arke was once like us, bound to winding mortality. But he willingly gave up this existence, that we might better understand the vagaries of life and death. It is through the ebb and flow of this cosmic tide that we find renewal, and in the end, peace. May the spirit of Lavinia and all those who have left this world and its suffering know the beloved serenity of Aetherius. And may we one day rejoin them in eternity. Oh my. Hello? A sad time. Indeed. Who died? Our daughter. Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tent venter. Oh. I'm... I'm so sorry. I hope she did not suffer. She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Rip... Who would do such a thing? Who could do such a thing? Sending. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? That is a good question. I aim to find out. I'm sorry for what happened. I just don't understand what kind of man does that. Well... I can't say that I'm surprised that I found a terrible, horrific thing, but... Uh... You know, having a quest begun where it's like, yeah, there was a child ripped apart. I'm still wondering when we're gonna see our first uh, game in the modern era where, you know, they actually have the guts. Uh, and the gall, I guess I should say as well, to actually um, have horrible things happening to children. Of course, then again, they may be around and I just don't know about them and nobody's really paid attention to the fact. Ghost. I figure it would have been a bit of a tizzy. Hello. War is not new to Falkreath. You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. Indeed. Are you a priest of Arche by chance? I am. I came into Arche's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Well, I can't make any promises, but I'll see what I can do. Blessing of RK to you for your help. Also, don't tell me that you tend this graveyard alone. Oh, merciful RK, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kost is my assistant. He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. Ah. It's always good to have help. But I'll be on my way now. I'll return if I should find your writings. That journal means a lot to me, if you find it. Well then. That's a extra challenge for me to go out and find. For now, let's find out about this guy Sindig. Sinding, who's evidently in the lockup. I wonder what happened.